Hey everyone, welcome to yet another Crafternoon at Home. Tis the season for gifting, so I'm going to show you my top three crafting gifts that you can give to the special people in your life. Coming in at number three, we've got personalized coasters. If you've seen our decoupage videos, you'll be familiar with this process. Go down to a home improvement store and you can find all kinds of tiles that you can buy for the base of your coaster. They are super cheap there. You can make just one coaster or an entire set. Then you can print out some images of things that the recipient might like. If you like to make collages, um, you can clip stuff for this craft. It might be easier to photocopy all your clippings together and have them on one page. Oh, and uh, by the way, laser prints are probably your best choice here. Uh, inkjet prints may run uh, when you sop it up with that Mod Podge, so just saying. All right, use Mod Podge to adhere the image to your tile. Let it dry, and then you add another layer of Mod Podge on top to seal it in. Let it dry completely, and um, you can even add another layer if you'd like to. But once that's dry, you'll want to finish it with a waterproof sealer. And once your coasters are completely dry, you can take it to the next level by hot gluing little felt circles on the bottom of your coaster so that when you use it, it won't scratch up the table. And then, if you make a set, you can tie them together with a lovely ribbon. How sweet! All right, next up at gift number two, we have a to-go coffee cup sleeve. This eco-friendly crafty gift will be perfect for the coffee fanatics in your life. All it requires is some basic sewing skills. I decided to use felt because it's soft and doesn't need any extra support. You can find patterns for these coffee sleeves online, or you can go down to the coffee shop and order a coffee and just use the cup sleeve off of that one. Cut out your felt, and then you'll wrap it around a to-go cup and mark where you want the buttons to go. Next, figure out a way to wrap it. You can make up your own way, but here's what I did for mine. Sew on some funky buttons and add any embellishments. Finish up by using a small hairband to connect the buttons. And look at that. No more burnt hands. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for. Our number one gift. We have food in a jar. Who doesn't love an edible gift? As with all of these crafting gifts, you can really make these personalized for the recipient. Look up a recipe that this person likes. You can either make it yourself, or if you're lazy like me, you just glam up the baking process so they won't mind doing all the hard work. Cooking might even be fun to them, who knows? All right, so I decided to choose a chocolate mint cookie recipe, and it uses one of my favorite baking techniques, cake box cookies. All you need to set up this lovely gift is a box of cake mix and some mint chocolates. They actually make mint chocolate chips, but I like the look of the chopped chocolate, so I did that. I chopped up about a box and a half of mint chocolates, but you can always put in as many as you'd like. Once you get that done, you just layer the ingredients inside of a large mason jar. Typically, your powdered ingredients would go in first because they can be packed down to maximize space and thus achieve the layered look. Then you just decorate the jar. 
Be sure to include baking or cooking instructions on your jar somehow so that when the recipient gets this gift, they'll know what to do with it. For mine, I just made a tag and put the directions on the back of it and tied it onto the jar with a ribbon. And there you have it, a delicious, well thought out gift. There you have it, my top three crafting gifts for the holiday season. Have you made any crafting gifts this year? What are your faves to make? Let us know in the comments. Check the description for detailed supplies lists of all the things I made in this video and be sure to subscribe to the library's YouTube channel for all the latest in library virtual programming. Thank you for watching and see you next year!